Hey guys, welcome back to Hanging Out with Lori. I hope you are well today. I am good. I'm getting ready to go to the doctor in a bit, and so I thought I would film a little bit before I head out. And today I'm doing something a little bit different than usual. Today I am going to talk about my favorite bold lip. Yes, my favorite bold lip. You guys know I am a nude lip lover through and through, but once in a while you need a statement lip for whatever reason, whether you're just feeling yourself or you need to feel confident and powerful. There's nothing better than a statement lip to give you a little bit of confidence boost. And so today I am going to talk about my top five favorite bold lips. Now I am not a huge liquid lip lover, so these run the gamut of liquid lip to bullets and even a lip gloss, an opaque lip gloss. So let's dive in. Did you guys ever expect this kind of video from me? I blame Kelly over at Instagram for leading me on the hunt of something outside of my norm. She has got me on the bold lip kick. So I have a whole pile here of my five favorite um, bold lips. They range from lip glosses to bullets and there's even a liquid lipstick which is not my favorite but I do love this liquid lipstick. So let's talk about what is on my lips. This lip is thanks in part to Kelly over at Instagram. I will have her handle down below. Go check her out. She is lovely, divine. If you do not follow Kelly, you need to because she is awesome. I love Kelly to pieces. Anyways, I am wearing NYX's Intense Butter Gloss in Berry Strudel. It is this beautiful purple berry shade that is totally out of my comfort zone or was out of my comfort zone until I went on the hunt for a purple lip and fell in love with this shade. I just think it just says something. Does it match my eyeshadow today? No. <laughs> no. But when I was getting ready to film this video, I'm like, that's the shade I want to wear, so I'm wearing it. I'm owning my purple lip with my orange eye look. I am owning it, people, because that's what makeup is about. You can enjoy it, even if they really shouldn't go together. So Berry Strudel is an intense butter gloss, as you can tell on my lip. It is very intense. However, it has worn off a little bit. That is what it looks like swatched before the lights go wonky. It is a bright, bold, grape lip. However, it has um, kind of calm down on my lip. It has more of a berry look to it now than even on my hand. So that is the beauty of these butter glosses. They do calm down. They don't stay overly insane unless you keep up that pigmentation. Um, they do wear down to a more wearable color for someone like me. I'm not always into the overly charged lip, but I am today. All right, the next one is a bullet lipstick by Bobbi Brown. This is a um, bold lip in that it is a red. It is out of my comfort zone. 
Um, red is not one I gravitate towards, so I put this in this category because I do not own a lot of reds. And this is burnt red. That's what it looks like. It is one of the most beautiful shades of red I have ever seen. And when I put it on my lip, I told my daughter, I'm like, I finally found the one shade of red that I can wear. So that is it. Would this probably have gone better with my look today? Yes, but I wasn't feeling burnt red. So this is a really creamy, comfortable formula. Yes, you have to reapply because it is a bullet lipstick. It is a cream lipstick, but it's worth it for this beautiful, deep, kind of terracotta red. It's just, it's stunning on the lip. So Burnt Red by Bobbi Brown is one of my other favorite bold lips that I do wear. I don't wear it often because like I said, I'm not a huge fan of um, red lips. But when I do wear a red lip, that's the one I'll gravitate towards before my other reds in my collection. Now this one I'm not so sure you can get anymore and I was hesitant to mention but I like it. I do have to tame it down some because it is a just a skosh out of my comfort zone but I love it. It, If there was ever a, comf a um, bold lip this is it and this is BH Cosmetics Bang. Um, Lipstick. I had this in a project. It 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 is this bright fuchsia pink lip. It is so pretty on. It definitely is the statement um, when you wear this gorgeous. Woo! Come back. Um, lip. You want to pair it with, you know probably more of a natural look because it is going to steal the show um, from any look that you do. Well, they all do. That's why they're called bold lip. But Bang, she just, she's not overly creamy like Bobbi Brown. You definitely do have to reapply her. But you want to make sure you reapply her um, because if she starts to fade, she does get a little patchy. So you want to keep up that vibrancy because, I mean, that's a neon pink if ever, if there ever was. I mean, when I was a teenager, we didn't call it hot, you know, neon pink. We called it fuchsia. Um, I had sweatpants that color and I wore them to soccer practice. I'm not sure my teammates enjoyed that, <laughs> but I did. But Bang is a beautiful color on. Now the next one is my only liquid lipstick. It is by Bare Minerals and it is in the shade Juicy. I got this free for buying their Bare Pro Concealer and when I got it, I was like, oh, I will never wear that. And in fact, I wore it and I was like, yeah, I'll never wear that. And I was wrong. It's just this beautiful, bright watermelon. Yeah, kind of a watermelon coral, deeper coral shade. It's just really bright and vibrant, and I tried it with this look earlier today. This purple actually goes better with this look than Juicy did. I thought Juicy might, you know, be the girl for me today, but she wasn't. But I love Juicy. She also smells really good. While that is not a selling point for me on um, lip products, in fact, I kind of like my lip products unscented. This smells like 
buttercream frosting. So it's quite nice. And the last one is from Sephora and it's part of their Lip Stories line, which is only $8. And this is a high quality lipstick. This is a cream um, shade that I'm going to show you, so you do have to reapply, but it is very moisturizing to the lip. They do come in matte and cream, and I think they even have metallic. I don't have a metallic. Um, I think the other one I own is matte, but don't quote me on that. Anyways, this one I'm talking about is called Desert Trip. I'm trying to get the lid off. It is this beautiful violet shade. Some might call it berry, but to me it is, you know, kind of a violet shade. That is it right there. Whoa, hello. You would think what is on my lips right now is this desert trip by looking at it instead of berry strudel. It definitely has a different look to it now than when I first applied, but this is Desert Trip. For me, this is just a strong, bold lip without it being red. So it has a little bit of a softness to it without it being a, you know, a statement lip. Um, without it saying I am woman hear me roar because you know if a woman is wearing a red lip she is owning that room a red lip she doesn't have to have anything else on but that red lip and she commands the room so all of these other shades they do the same thing but at different levels. That's why I consider them a bold lip. So when I am not feeling red, like today, I am not feeling a red lip, although it would look best with my eyeshadow probably. I'm just not feeling it. And so I went with a different shade and I like it. I do like the color that I have with my orange lid. Do orange and purple go together? on the color wheel? I don't know. I failed her. Does that say anything? But those are my five bold lips. I could have done all liquid lips. I could have done all glosses. I could have done all bullets. But these are my favorites. These five right here are my favorites. And so why should I just highlight one type. Maybe if you guys like this and would like to see me do my favorite nudes, I could break it down into categories. If you want, if that's something you're interested in, leave a comment down below. If you're interested in seeing what my favorite nude lip is, I would sure love to do that. And I would love to um, tell you what my favorite fall um, lips are as well, if that is something that might interest you guys. Let me know down in the comments. I loved doing this. I'm not known for a bold lip, but once in a while a girl just has to feel herself and just own it. So today I am owning it even though my lip is making my lights go a little crazy. I'm okay with that. You guys take good care of yourself. Be safe out there and I will see you on the next one. Bye.